competing in the global marketplace, there are generally three steps you can follow to ensure success. Sales representatives generally know what their clients like, how to persuade them, what upsets them, and how to get their um, business. First of all, you want to establish a bond with the prospective client. Prospects are generally willing to buy someone they have a relationship with and with someone that makes them feel good. Do not plunge into your sell pitch. First of all, you want to get to get a feel for them, see how they're doing that day, build a rapport, see how they're doing psychologically. So, you know, start off by talking about, you know, something light like, oh, the weather's nice or, oh, I had a great weekend. How was yours? That way you build a feel, feeling of agreement by talking about sports, weather, you know, something you both have in common. And so the next step is you want to fo focus on the buyer's benefit. After you've established a bond with them, you want to find out what they need, what their problem is, and how to solve it. Then next, describe and demonstrate your product and how it will solve their issue. Be sure you describe this to them in a way that they can understand and make sure you focus on how it will benefit them. The purpose is to show the buyer how the product will solve their problem. And third, you want to make an art, artful close. You want to razzle-dazzle them and make them feel special so you can walk away with a um, signature on your sell sheet. At the end, summarize the presentation and leave them with a delightful story that will um, show them how the position will stick in their mind. Make the offer available for a limited time only. This usually will um, get them to act in a responsible time frame. If the buyer objects, turn their objection into a close by saying, then you'd order if I included a one-year warranty, right? By counteracting their potential objections, you are basically leaving them no reason not to sign a deal with you. And remember, some sales representatives botch the sale because they can't stop talking. They'll close a deal, but while the person signing the contract, they keep yammering on. And sometimes this causes the potential buyer to cancel the contract. So be careful. While they're signing, stop talking.